Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today I will show you guys how to create amazing home screen setups on your iOS 15 device. From secret widgets to 3D looking icons to complete themes for your device. That will make your iPhone on iOS 15 look way different and of course much much better than the stock look of iOS 15. Now before we get into all that, make sure you smash the like button of this video. That will help out this channel a lot and of course will help this video do much much better. Starting things off with hidden widgets. You can see right here I have a stack of widgets. I can have them still here but be hidden so it just looks like a blank space. Now the way this works, go ahead and download this free app which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have the app downloaded to your device, go ahead and go to the edit mode on the home screen of your device. Swipe to the last page where there are no icons and take a screenshot of that page. Once you have done that, make sure you go ahead, open the app and just load the screenshot from here. Once you have the screenshot loaded, just tap this button to save it. Now that you have the screenshot saved, all you have to do is just go ahead and go to the stack of widgets that you want to hide and tap and hold here and tap on edit stack and tap the plus button and go ahead and add the widget from this app. So there is the app, I can go ahead and tap right there and add this widget to this stack. Even if it's just one widget that you have, not a stack, you can add this one. And of course it will make it a stack of two widgets, but you can still hide the widget. Now you can see right here, it doesn't look that good. What we have to do is 3D touch there and tap on edit right here and choose the position where we have the widgets. So bottom right in this case, and you can see right now, we have just a blank space right there. It doesn't look like anything is in there, but once you swipe like this, you will of course see your widgets. Once you're done, you can just tap like this and of course it will be hidden. Everything goes away and it just looks like you have a blank space on the home screen of your device. That will of course make it look really, really, really different. And of course is very cool seeing how the widgets just disappear on the home screen. Next up, I will show you guys how to install full themes on your device. You can do that using this free app. Now this app is actually amazing. It offers a lot of different themes and of course they can be downloaded for free. So right here we'll have trending themes who have, have the new ones right here. You can go ahead and browse all of them. So let's just go ahead and try one of these themes. So let's just go at the top and try this one right here. You tap the get button and you will have two different sections. You will have the icons for the system apps and third party apps. So let's just go ahead and tap download right here on the system apps. It show you, shows you this pop-up, click on allow right here and then go ahead and head on to the settings app. And from the settings, what we need to do right here is go under general and then go right here to VPN and device management, tap here and make sure you install this, enter your passcode right here. And once you have entered the passcode, you will be able to actually install this on your device and you can see how they look on the home screen. They actually look really, really good. Now, the thing about iOS is that when you try to open an app with these icons, you can see you get that redirection right there. So you basically tap on the app and you can see it just goes like to a black screen, which is actually the shortcuts that does that. That will just basically redirect you. But with iOS 15, you will now have a new option that will let you just remove that. So just go ahead and go to your settings, go under accessibility and scroll all the way down. You will have here per app settings. Go ahead and tap on add app and tap on home screen. And from here, just go ahead, go to home screen and go to reduce motion and turn it on. This will reduce motion only on the home screen so that it removes that redirection. It won't do it for all the apps just for the home screen. So now you can see once we tap there, it just shows basically like a fade effect and it goes straight to the app. So just like that without redirecting you and it looks actually much, much better. Now the good thing about these themes is that when you want to actually remove them from your device, all you gotta do is go ahead and go to general right here, go to device management, go to the profile that you have installed and just tap remove profile, enter the passcode and the theme will be gone. And now let me show you guys how to get a 3D look for the icons, the widgets and the dock on your home screen. You can also do things like hide the notch on the home screen of your iOS 15 device. Now the way to do this, head on, 
to the Safari app and of course open this link that I will leave right down below in the description of the video. Scroll here and go to home screen generator and tap on read more right here, then tap the download button. This will download a shortcut on your device, tap on add shortcut and then from here, just go ahead and run the shortcut. And it will download a few files that it needs. So click OK right there. And then choose your device right here from the list. And click OK here. And click on download content. Click allow. And now just wait for a few seconds until the content has been downloaded to your device. Once the download has been completed, you will see this pop up right here. So click OK there and it will actually take you to the files app. So go right here to the shortcuts folder under the iCloud drive and tap right here HCC. So go ahead and tap right there and tap on content right here. So that will unzip that file. So just wait for the unzip here to be finished and then you're good to go. From now on, we can go ahead and create those setups with 3D looking icons, doc and widgets as well. So let's just wait for this to finish. Now, once the folder appears here, that means that it has been unzipped and now you can go ahead and create the setup. Now just Take a look here, take a close look and just follow the steps that you need in order to create these setups. That will make it very, very easy for you to do that in the future if you want to change your setup or create something new. First of all, of course, run the shortcut from here and you have here building a layout. So you're creating a layout for your device. So tap right there, add elements. Now, what you want to add here is basically add the setup that you have on your device. So I want to create like a setup right here for this page. So I have all the icons here, but just one widget. So I want to add elements, add all the icons, add the widget and then the dock as well. So this is how it works. So I tap on yes, add elements right there and then go ahead and go right here to icons from contents, go to icons and choose what you want to have. You have like shadows, you have right here soft shadows, you have a bump, you have borders and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and choose this one right here. This is what I want to add. So I want to add the two rows of icons at the top right there. Click done and go ahead and add another element. Of course, we need to add more. The second two rows of icons right there. So there you go. You can see as the setup is being created tap yes again. Now I want to add these four icons that I have on this side and then click done. Tap on add another layer. Now I want to go back and I want to add the widget that I have here. So I go to the widgets folder and then from here what I need to do is just go ahead and choose what I want to add here. So let's just go with shadows depth right there and go ahead and choose the position where I have the widget. So I have a small one right there. Go ahead and choose it. So you can see now I have the same setup that I have on the home screen as well. Now I want to add also the dock. So click done, click yes right there and go ahead and add the dock here from the docs folder. So we have different like setups here for the dock. So we can go ahead and choose here like a cutaway or whatever we want. Let's just go with cutaway. Let's just choose the first one right there. And now it shows the preview here, how it will look on the home screen. Now, once you have created a layout like this, you can save this. So the next time you want to change your wallpaper, you don't have to do this all over again. You just use the layout and add a new wallpaper. So click done right here. And now let's just go ahead and tap no, because we have already done everything we needed to save the layout. So let's just name the layout here. So let's just say layout two and we're good to go. Now we can go ahead and add the wallpaper. So from here, tap done and add the wallpaper. Click OK and choose it from the photos you have on your iPhone library. Now that you have selected the wallpaper, you will get this pop up here. You can go ahead and hide the notch if you want from here just by clicking here. But I don't want to do that. I just want to have a full wallpaper. So I'll click no here and then it shows the preview of the wallpaper. Click done. And now it will show you the wallpaper with the layout that you have created. Click done right here. And now is the part where you save this to photos. And now you can just go ahead and set it as a wallpaper from photos. Now, once you have that saved, just go ahead, go to the photos app and just simply set this as a wallpaper. Just make sure when you tap right here, just zoom all the way out. 
click on set, click on the home screen. And now when we go to the home screen, you can see this is the setup that we look. You can see that shadow right there on the icons and also the widget. It really looks really, really cool. And you can see the dock right there. It makes a huge difference on the home screen of your device. Just like that, you can create amazing setups for the home screen of your iOS 15 device. And last but not least, I will show you guys how to completely hide the background of folders and the dock on your iOS 15 device. Now this will be very simple. Go ahead and go to this website that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. You also have other options right here like border, fold, border wallpapers and all that. But right here we have the section to hide the background of the dock and folder. So you can choose from different colors right here and then just go ahead and tap on one of them and just make sure you download the wallpaper to your device. It's as simple as that. Follow the instructions right here. Some need to have reduced motion off or on. Just follow the instructions that you see right here based on the wallpaper that you choose. Tap on the wallpaper there and make sure you go ahead and just save it to your photos and set it as a wallpaper on your device. That is very, very simple, but you actually get quite a nice clean look on the home screen of your device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you guys on the next one.